Hello people, Les the 6mm France 1940 vlog here with a let's play video for me vainglorious France 1940 rules using tens dice I don't normally use these to be honest but I think it will be clearer if I do this time I normally just use two different D10s scale is going to be one and a half inches to a hundred meters because that's this is a sort of compromise between bigger scales uh, you can still get plenty on the table so I've got the Germans coming on this side with the armoured column of 38Ts and platoon of infantry in Hanamags I'll stuck the German HQ there a few 8 rads up there for the French we've got 3 panards here where there's also a section of infantry there's also a section of infantry there and the CO is in this position with a grenade launcher. They are a section short because, well, you know, things don't always go to plan. So they start off with a slightly lower morale anyway. I got a 25mm AT gun there and one down there. First phase is command. The French are defending. They're all on alert, so I've put brown markers there. I'm going to go over to terrain markers at some point so they're a little bit more discreet but I'm a solo player so it don't really matter to me anyhow. Right, manoeuvre phase. Positional movement, messages, sapotas, rallying, reinforcements and smoke drifting. So that's everything, it's basically stuff that goes on, on the, where you're not actually shooting at anybody so we can get it done really quick. Eight rads, 250 metres of move. So at the end of this first manoeuvre phase we can check if any spotting has been successful. Now it depends on what the object is you're trying to spot, what the target is doing uh, and also what you're doing. So that's a medium vehicle which is a normal spotting distance without modifiers of 800. Okay, so that's 800. It's concealed so it's times a quarter. Okay, so that's 400, 200. That's it for the target, okay? They're moving fast, okay? So that's times a half again, 100. It's not a closed up AFV because it's not, um, they're not coming in contact with anything yet, so they would have the hatches open. I'm assuming that's across the board for all the nations. I know it isn't, but for game simplicity, I just uh, have um, hatches open if they're out of contact, okay? So 100. Now, there's a chance they might spot a little bit better than normal. Okay, so let's see how we do with that. 53, so it's just average spotting, so they don't see the panards. So after that manoeuvre phase, we've got preliminary, well, there's no map barrage or suppressing fire or anything like that. The French armour cars could decide to open fire from there. Let's see if they're at the right range. Orders permitting, yeah, they are actually so okay. Well, we're into a bit of action. So, I made this chart that's got everything on it on the table to make it easier for me while I do the video at the same time. So, down the bottom, you've got the panel 178s, 25 millimeter, and then you've got the different range brackets. Uh, that gun only had AP, so there's no high explosive or burst fire data for it whatsoever. If they wanted to engage, say, infantry or something, they'd have to use the coaxial. So anyway, beside the point, see what the ranges are. 325 to 450. So 325 to 450 is 31 at 70. So the only penalty they are actually getting is the fact they're going to move off immediately after they've fired, because that's what their orders are. Okay, so that's 31 at 60 for the first armoured car. 41, not a very good hit. If I look at my hit quality chart, it was 60, okay. They rolled 41, so it's actually in that one there. Got a hit quality of minus 15, so instead of 31, he's only pen penetrated 16 armour. But as we know, the front armour of a Panzer 38 is 25, okay. So the front Panzer 38 
is stunned. He can move and he can fire but he fires at a slight penalty. Right, let's do the other armoured cars. They are 375 and 425. So they're in the next range bracket. 29 at 60 already. 29 at 50 because they're going to fall back as soon as they've shot. And I'm also going to penalise them for an obscured shot because they've got friendlies, you know, kind of in line with the target and you've got, they're firing right down this hedge so I'm going to give them a penalised shot for that as well. That'll be for both of them. Three. Now I don't have to look that up because three means they've made that shot by a good margin. He was penetrating 29 anyway. So it's not necessary to look that up. That one is gone. Now let's just um, check something. Because I don't keep track of who is the commander in the troop of tanks. I don't like to know. So what I'm going to do is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not the commander. You don't have to keep track of who is the commander. It's just that that's not him. All right. So... No worries. Now, because they've had a casualty, we need some morale. So this is going to be the Panzer 38 T's token. 5-20, well, I mean, this is just something I do to keep track of it. That's just something that I've evolved that seems to work. You can do it, you can write it down on the pad somewhere if you want, but I don't like that sort of thing. So, basically, every element in the troop is worth like 20 morale points if you like so they've lost one it's not the commander they just lost one so now they're down to 80 and i'll leave it with the first casualty so now they've got a roll for morale 43 so they make it i don't have to do any checks because that's not a bad score so uh, before i forget well they fired so they're no longer on alert They've also got a full back. Now, what was their full back position? That V-shaped wood, wasn't it? Panel 178, so they've got a driver facing rearwards, so they can actually move at 350 in reverse. They can't get over the hedge, so they'd all be backed up to there. Right, so that's move one. So, back to the turn sequence. Maneuver is the eight rads. Another 250 for them. To there. Action phase. We've got a couple of counters here. One for the Panzer 38s and one for the Panard 178s. You can use cards, anything like that, because it's random and I don't really see why a player should be able to really choose what he activates just because you really really want to activate something before the enemy gets a chance to activate his uh, I'm not sure why you should be able to so let's see Panzer 38s so the question is can they see them well medium is 800 it's moving greater than half speed so that makes it 1600 there is smoke in the way so that makes it back down to 800. These are now closed up AFVs, so it's now 400. It's possible they might get a good spot. 91, no. Poor in actual fact. Orders are orders, so off they go again. So now for the French armoured cars, we've got a range of 375, which is 29 at 60. 29 at 50 for the hedge being in the way, obscuring the view. They are moving greater than half speed, these guys. So, not 29 at 50, 29 at 12 and a half, in actual fact, because it's times a quarter. We've got three shots, 29 at 13. Six. <laughs> well, they needed 13. They've got a six. So, it's, it's not actually that great a hit, because it was... 13 from the start and they've rolled 6 it's only an average hit so they have actually penetrated 
29. And the front of a Panzer 38 I've got down here is 25. So that's another casualty. There's no more shots from the French tanks because there's too much uh, smoke and whatnot in the way. It's going to be t too much of a long shot. So let's um, just get these guys to finish their move, which will be to occupy reasonably hold down positions here. And now we need to do another morale check on the German tanks because their morale is now... Well, that's... Okay. Getting a bit ahead of myself there. Commander. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not the commander that's been taken out. So they just lose another 20. And now on 60. Enemy combat elements we're drawing within line of sight. Yes, yeah, so they only needed to roll 70. They got 21, so they did. Now I could start this squad falling back because they do have fallback orders that is permitted. Um, and they don't have any infantry targets uh, to engage. However, they've seen a couple of German tanks brew up. So I think I'm going to leave them where they are. If the German tanks do come any closer, there's a possibility they might actually be able to do something to it. Right, move three. I'll just leave that there as a counter for me. Back to the manoeuvre phase, 250 for the German armoured cars. It's entirely possible they might be able to see them. I think I'll check that out. 575 is the range. The French armoured cars are medium, which makes them 800. They were moving fast, which makes them 1600. However, the German armoured cars were also moving fast, so that brings it back down to 800. They are part concealed, which now makes it 400. So, if we get a good roll, 84, which we don't, I don't see the um, French armoured cars scuttling away. Back to a normal action phase. It's the Panars that act first this time, but they don't really have a line of sight shot on the advancing armour. I think I might check and see if they can spot these off on the flank. They are large, which means they start off at a normal spotting range of 1600. They're moving fast, 3200. But the spotters themselves are also moving fast. So that's back down to 1600. They're also a close up AFV now. So it's 800. And because the Panard has a spotting arc of 90 degrees, that's half again. So 400. So in actual fact, they do not notice the armored car sneaking around the side there. The German Panzers take up positions against that hedge there. Time for the German infantry to debuss me thinks. You'll see I've got them on bases in groups of four, that's just for my convenience really. I got into the habit of that when I used to use the WRG rules. I quite liked it not having to move hundreds of figures around. Combat stats of them are kind of like all just combined into one because I figured, you know what, the infantry squad or half section I suppose, which the uh, base represents, is quite possibly going to fire at the same target anyway. So having them all on one base, I don't think is such a problem. Okay, now having moved into position, the Panzers, uh, there's going to be possibly two shots at them. Range of 375, so Panzer 38T, coming on gear, 31 at 70. 31 at 70. Move greater than half speed. 31 at, 31 at 35. 31 at 17. Terrain effects. Hold down times a quarter again. So 17, a quarter of 17 is going to be a lot less than 10%. And uh, I don't allow shots that have less than 10% chance of hitting because you're basically really only going to give your position away and you wouldn't do that in the real world would you so there we go on to turn four in the manoeuvre phase the eight rads are now going to drop their speed down to one two five 
They have their suspicions, well they've got a lot of foreign up there and also they're under orders to move a bit slower as they move into the second field. So, moving a bit slower, let's see if they can spot these armoured cars now, 500. Panels on medium, which is 800. Park concealed, 400. Uh, 8 rads are recce, brings it back up to 800. Plus, we've got spotting chance, 39. Um, average, but it's actually good enough. Means I'm going to be sticking another activation token in the pot. So range is 450. 252, 450, 4 in at 70. Adjustments, 50 view for the intervening hedge, 4 in at 60. I'll give them a restricted firing window because they would have come into view right at the end of the bound, so 14 at 50. They're moving half speed, that's just a, a half penalty, so 14 at 25. Unfortunately, the panards are hold down, so that takes them below the 10% cutoff, so no firing from the German armoured cars. To the action phase of turn four, the 178's activating first. 375 separation, 800 normal spotting distance, concealed times half is 400, they can still spot. And in fact, with a poor spotting roll, they can't even see the large armoured cars off to one side. So the panards don't actually do anything there this turn. Down to the Panzer 38 T's, 77, an average spot, so 800, concealed, 400, close down AFE, 200. They can't spot, they're going to have to move forward. Our tends to just leapfrog the figures, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. Of course you'd have to Make sure that your leading elements are the ones that you want to be out there. The MG I'll put in the long grass at the edge of that field. 